Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will introduce you to networking your consoles and using them as part of a multi-console setup. This tutorial is intended as a basic overview to get your network up and running quickly. There is more detailed information regarding networking available in the HOG4 manual under the setting up your system section. We will look at setting up a connection between a HOG4 console and HOG4 PC. Firstly, Connect the PC to the HOG4 using a CAT5 crossover cable. If this network were to be expanded, an Ethernet switch would need to be used, with each console or PC being connected to the switch using CAT5 patch cables. There are two Ethernet ports on the rear of the HOG4 range of consoles. For console-to-console -console networks, ensure that you use the HOGnet port rather than the fixture net port. The use of the fixture net port will be covered in the next tutorial. Once connected, both systems need to be configured. From the start screen of the HOG4 console, select Control Panel, followed by the HOGnet tab on the left. The simplest way to configure your network is to select Use Default IP Settings and then Enable DHCP Server. This will allow the console to distribute network settings to the PC. Apply these settings. On HOG4 PC, again open the control panel and select the HOGnet tab. This time, select the option to obtain an IP address using DHCP. This will instruct the PC to listen for an IP address being distributed by the DHCP server running on the HOG4 console. Apply these changes and close the window. You may find that you need to turn off your firewall on your PC. An alternative method for configuring your network settings would be to use static IP addresses. On the HOG4, reopen the control panel and select Use Custom IP Settings. Enter an IP address such as 172.31.0.2 with a subnet of 255.255.0.0. .0. Enable DHCP server can now be switched off. Apply these changes. Now on HOG4 PC, again reopen your control panel and select Use Custom IP Settings. Enter an IP address on the same subnet, such as 172.31.0.3. Apply these changes. There are three ways in which you might set up your system. These options can be found under the Settings button of the Start window. The two options we shall focus on in this tutorial are the Net Number and the Server Settings. The Net Number defines the role a console or DP8000 processor plays in a network. For example, a DP with a Net Number of 1 will load and output patch information stored in the show file for DP number 1. Two DPs cannot output at the same time when assigned the same net number. In this case, the second DP will sit idle and only start to output when the first DP goes offline. Consoles can, however, share the same net number. Firstly, let's look at a client-server setup and assume an external DP is connected to the network. In this scenario, I could use the HOG4 PC as the server and the HOG4 console as the client. To tell a console to be a client, deselect the Run Server option. When set as a client, the console is unable to start a new show or launch existing shows from disk. Also, in this setup, no copy of the show file is saved locally to the client console. When running as a client, assign a different net number to the console so that the operator maintains independent control of pages and chosen masters. Next, let's look at configuring the network for console failover. Both the HOG4 PC and HOG4 console should have the Run Server option selected. When a console connects to the network, it will sync a local copy of the show file from other consoles on the network. In this setup, the net numbers should be different, allowing operators of both consoles to have independent control of pages and chosen masters. But should one of the consoles fail as a result of power loss, for example, the server of the other console would immediately take control of the show without any interruption to show data or DMX. Finally, the network can be configured for console tracking. 
In order for consoles to track one another, in terms of the current page, chosen master and playback state, they must be assigned the same net number. As with console failover, both consoles should be set to run server to protect against loss of control should the primary console fail for some reason. In all these cases, each console on the network always maintains individual desktop and programmer experiences. In the next tutorial, we shall take a look at configuring the console for ArtNet using the FixtureNet port. Thank you for watching.